This is Jackie Davidson and her husband, now starring at the Empire Room of the Waldorf Hotel, Golden Voice John Davidson. This is the flying nun Sally Field and her husband, Steve Craig. This is singing star Nanette Febre and her husband, Randy McDougall. This is Joyce Ray and her husband, matinee idol Alejandro Ray. These four celebrity couples are here to play. He said, she said. And now here's the star of He Said, She Said, Joe Garagiola. <laughs> yeah, you, Johnny set it up where she should grab me, and when I went like that, she, you really were shocked, weren't you, man? Well, good to have all of you, and good to have all of you here. Oh, oh. Hey. good day to you, too. Yeah, the beauty. We always like the beauty out here. Okay, now, in the next half hour, we're going to see if your husbands can recognize you by the stories you're going to tell us about your married life. Now, your husbands are backstage, and they're beautiful, too. The only time they can hear is we want them to like this. Hey, beautifuls, will you please press your buttons? Look at them. See that? There they are. Good. How you doing back there? Very fine. Well. Well. Let up on the button a little bit. That's it. Good. Okay. Now, when you press that button, we see you on the screen. And from now on, anytime you want to talk to us, please press the button. Each of you is playing for a different married couple in our studio audience, and the winner will get a week's stay at a Holiday Inn. I'm going to cut you off now. I'll talk to you a little bit later. So long. So long. So long, so long. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, girls, I'm going to give you a topic. I want you to come up with an association so personal when your husband hears it, knows it was you. Clues, one or two words. First topic. Worst thing that happened on your honeymoon. The word, look at here. Well, well, Nanette. Well, uh, I had been bragging to my husband that I was a good body surfer because he was a great body surfer. And, but I had thought that in California with those little one short waves that they have, you know, one wave comes in and breaks. I thought that was body surfing. I didn't really know what it meant. So we were in Hawaii on our honeymoon, and uh, you have to swim out about half a mile to get where the breakers start to come in, and Randy was already out there surfing. And I hadn't been swimming in a long time, so I went swimming out, and I was half dead by the time I got to him, but I was not going to give up because I had been bragging what a good body surfer I was. And he was out there floating on top of the coral reef. Now, if you, I don't know if anybody knows, but if you put your feet down in a coral reef, you get a terrible cut from it. So I swam out to him, and by the time I got there, I was half drowned, and I'm climbing on him. He says, well, honey, not now. Don't get romantic now. And I said, blah, 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 you know, I'm, I'm almost drowning. And finally, he realized that I was drowning, and he called, it was so embarrassing. He called over a little tiny boy on the surfboard, and he said to the little boy, he says, would you mind wheeling my wife back in on your surfboard? And the little kid says, sure. So they stretched me out on the surfboard, and this little kid pushed me into shore, and I was so embarrassed because there I was being a show-off smarty that I could be a good body surfer, and I wasn't. Right. I would have to say that my clue is body surfing. Body I almost surfing. drowned him, you know. Climbing you were really up drowning. I was, I was there, you know. I was like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> he says, honey, don't get romantic now. So I would say, I would say body, body surfing. Body surfing. All right, we've got your response. Let's see who was next. Jackie Davidson. Well, ours... Worst we, thing that happened on your honeymoon. We a honeymooned in Puerto Rico. That's where we got married. And John and I both scuba dive. And we were out, uh, as a matter of fact, about the next day after we got married, we were in about 10 feet of water, and we saw what looked like a big antique ship's wheel down underneath the water. And so we thought, oh, a relic from, from, from some old ship. And we spent two hours dragging this 150 pound big wheel in. And I wrenched a shoulder and John was, you know, a whole thing. We were both just dead tired. And we got up in the beach and the lifeguard came over and said, oh, that's the sewer cover to the Caribe Hill we've been looking for <laughs> for two years. So I would say, <laughs> <laughs> and it really was. It, the sewer cover had somehow gotten, and it was a. And so I would say our our key word would be um, sewer can, cover. Can you say sewer cover. Sure. Is that all right to say sewer cover. If he doesn't cover? get that after all that work, sewer oh. cover. All right, we've got your response, <laughs> Sally Field. Worst well, thing that happened on your honeymoon. I don't know. It's one of two things. Our honeymoon was a total disaster. It's either when we got married, or when we got to Jamaica. I. Hmm. 
Well, I'll tell you about when we got married. We got married in Las Vegas in this little tinsel town that could not be believed. It was all, it was all plastic and red. You know, it was just, and I was like in the satin pants outfit. You know, we were just like, oh, well, who cares? And then the judge was drunk, and he was going, oh. <laughs> and he was swaying like this, and Steve and I were hysterically laughing because we kept we were going like this back and forth, and the man was going, and I hope that you guys will have a wonderful time with this whole thing. And we're going, okay, swallow like when we got married. He, it was just so nonchalant. Steve said, yeah. Yep, you know, and he said, would you take this woman or whatever it is? And Steve said, yep, and I said, sure enough, or something like that. <laughs> so I guess, I guess our wedding, our, our honeymoon was really weird, too. We went to Jamaica, um, I guess the bad time was, it, it was, it, there wasn't anybody there but a bunch of old folks, and, and we were going to go swimming, and it was uh, really, really hot, and it was later in the afternoon, and, and there was these people out there with big blowguns, like spraying this white stuff. And we went, oh, look at what they're doing. Isn't this funny? And all of a sudden, this massive, unbelievable clouds, literally of bugs, attacked us. Just, and we had to run as fast as we could and dive in the water. And for about an hour, we just stayed in the water with our mouths out like this, because these bugs would attack you, and you'd, li you'd lift your lips out, you know, and about four little mosquitoes <laughs> would be on your you lost your lips. <laughs> <laughs> so which one is worse? I don't know. Well, which one would be the easiest clue? I think the judge. Uh, Okay, I'll say the drunk judge. Drunk judge. Wherever you are, Mr. Drunk Judge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go backstage and see what happens. Hello there, backstage. Uh, Hi, Joel. Okay, Hi. press your button as soon as you recognize your wife, all right? We said the worst thing that happened on your honeymoon, and she said body surfing. <laughs> Randy McDougall. She tried to drown me. <laughs> I've always wondered why. <laughs> But uh, I used to be a great body surfer. I'm, I'm sure she's told you. And I was out on a reef about a half mile offshore, and she came out to join me and kept waving to me. I didn't know it at the time, but she was drowning. And Randy, I'm going to stop you because she told it so well. That's she it. she tell you how she got back. Yes. Yes, I told him. With the little boy? A little seven-year-old kid. He couldn't understand anybody drowning. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she told us, so we gave him 25 points. Very good. Okay. We said worst thing that happened on your honeymoon, and she said drunk judge. Steve Craig. Uh, I guess I could be considered our honeymoon, but it was the guy who married us that was drunk. <laughs> Yep. The judge was the drunk guy. It was that, him, all right. That's what she told us. We thought there was more to the story. I mean, only not. 25 points for nope, you, Steve. She drunk. told us so that's well. <laughs> we said, worst thing that happened on your honeymoon, and she said, sewer cover. <laughs> Why are you laughing, John Davidson? Uh, because uh, we, we, uh, we didn't really spend a honeymoon. I, I married my wife while I was working in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And uh, on our, after we were married, we went snorkeling and scuba diving a lot. And uh, uh, we, <laughs> we found what we thought was a relic down <laughs> underneath the water. And it was looked out, it looked like the hatch to an old boat. Finally, we spent hours pulling this thing up, rolling it. I finally got on beach and found out it was a sewer cover to the hotel. That's what and she said. And for days after that, my wife had pains that in her back. A, I did. I had a wrenched shoulder for about two and months. And the doctor said, well, that's, you just got married. You know, maybe that's adjusting to just being married or something. <laughs> which sounded a little Jay, weird. we're going to give you the 25 points. Very good. That's pretty much what she said. Okay, more of he said, she said in just a moment. Right now, this message. New topic for the ladies. That was a good one, the last one. Uh, okay, I'm anxious to hear this one. Based, this is the new topic, based on what he told you, what he was like as a little boy. What was he like as a little boy? Based on what he told you, Sally Field. Oh, well, uh, first of all, he was real fast. He was a really fast runner, and his mother used to time to the clothesline so that he couldn't run too far. And he had a long enough rope, and he used to run around in circles for a long, long time, just to time to the clothesline. <laughs> so what's going to be your clue? Uh, tied to the clothesline. Tie? Tie uh, clothesline? Strapped to the clothesline. Strapped to the clothesline. <laughs> I don't know. what Clothesline is one word, right? Okay, yeah. Tie is another. Tie? Tie to. Tie to. Unto, that's one word. Unto, U-N-T-O, clothesline. Sally, I'm a nice guy. 
You just give me three <laughs> words, I'll make them two. Tie to clothesline? Yeah. Is that what you want? That's what That's I want. That's what you got. Tie to clothesline. Because tie unto clothesline, I sound like I'm doing <laughs> Billy Graham or something. Uh, okay, based on what he told you, what, what was he like as a little boy, uh, Jackie? Um, John comes from a, a minister's family. And uh, who laughed out there? <laughs> Somebody went, that's terrible. A uh, John's father is a minister, and he's always, and in fact, in his nightclub act, he always says, I, I was a real goody goody when I was a little boy. So I would just say, uh, goody goody. Goody goody. Goody goody boy. Goody goody boy. Isn't that terrible? He'll kill me. Goody goody boy. Is he still a goody goody big boy? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got that. Let's see, who is next here? Uh, Joyce, Alejandro, well, based you know, on what he told you. He, when he, when he uh, lived, of course, he grew up in Argentina, and uh, he started working as a very young child, and he tells me these tales about how hard he worked. So I would say he, was an early, he used to sit in his kindergarten class and make these little uh, insulators. I'm not too sure what an insulator is, but it's some kind of wire thing. And he would sit underneath his desk while he was listening to his lessons and make these things and sell them on the side. And then he worked as all these different jobs. He and it's just amazing. So he was an early worker. Early worker. Early. Sure, I saw him in a commercial with Excellente or whatever that guy. Isn't it him, the little boy? Okay, so what's your clue going to be now? Early worker. Early worker. He tells Have you. Have you ever heard of anybody working at age six? No. Age six. Let's hear him tell it. I bet it's interesting when he tells it. Let's go backstage and see. Hello, fellas. Are you all set to play? I yes. Know, so. Okay, remember <laughs> to press your button now and you recognize your wife, all right? We said, based on what he told you, what was he like as a little boy? And she said, goody, good, goody, goody boy. <laughs> John Davidson. Everybody kids me about being a goody, goody. My dad is a Baptist minister, and everybody, you know, kids me about that. And uh, they say, oh, the wildest thing you ever saw was occasionally used to glance through the African section of National Geographic. <laughs> oh, and, that's pretty wild. And I guess I told... <laughs> no, but I mean, meaning that you never saw the real thing. We're yeah. going to give you 25 <laughs> points, John. Very good. That's pretty much what she said. Okay. We said, based on what he told you, what he was like as a little boy, and she said, early worker. Alejandro, whoa, we got two of them. Let's see, who was first? Alejandro Ray, I thought so. Okay, do you have violins for this story? Yes. <laughs> we need some background music. I'm gonna music give you background this. music, all right. But I did wear, started working when I was very, very young, five years old, to tell you the truth. <laughs> so yeah. that's why I don't work at all today. What were you yeah, doing at five? Uh, different things. I, I used to do things to, to uh, put in the wires and the electricity uh, wires, and, and I used to deliver things for the laundry. You see, that's why you, we pay so much money now uh, to the laundry bills. <laughs> Alejandro, and, uh, that's what Joyce told us, that you were a very early worker making insulators. We're going to give you 25 points. Beautiful. We said, based on what he told you, what he was like as a little boy. And she said, tie to clothesline. Ta Steve Craig. Yes, well, my mother, my mother had this thing of putting a rope of a certain length behind, on my body and attaching the other end to a clothesline so I could run around and not get lost. Now and I, I still do that. <laughs> so does my mother. <laughs> I'm still on the clothesline. That's what she told us. We're going to give you the 25 points. Very good, Steve. Perfect round. All right, fellas. We've reached the halfway point in our game. It's time for you to change places with your wives. So would you come out on stage, please? Promotional consideration furnished by National Airlines with nonstop service, Miami to London. National says you're going to have a great flight. Now let's meet these husbands. And here they are. Here comes Alejandro Ray, and the Rays have 25 points. Next is Randy McDougall. The McDougalls have 25. Here's Steve Craig. The Craigs have 50 points. And John Davidson. The Davidsons have 50 points, Joe. Okay, John. We're going to see how good the wives are at recognizing their husbands in just a moment. Right now, this message. On stage, we have with us Alejandro Ray. And the Rays have 25 points. This is Randy McDougall. And the McDougalls have 25 points. Here is Steve Craig. And the Craigs have 50 points. 
This is John Davidson, and the Davidsons have 50 points. Good All right, your wives are back there. Do you remember we used for a different couple from our studio audience? The winner's prize a week stay at a Holiday Inn. New topic. How you can tell when another man attracts her. How you can tell when another man attracts her. How you can tell when another man attracts her. Randy? She says so. She says so. Yeah. We've been married a long time. So she just tells you. She just tells me. That's very true. Doesn't bother man. you at all. It's usually Cary Grant. <laughs> and I hardly blame her. So your clue's going to be? She says says so. She says so. All right, we've got your response. Alejandro, how can you tell what he, another he man... He beat me to it, uh, but it's uh, very uh, much the similar thing. She, uh, every time she likes somebody, she's very handsome, very nice. So I would say very handsome. Very handsome. That's the, the, what she usually uses. Mm -hmm. Adorable that, sometimes. Adorable. Adorable will be yeah. your clue? Yeah. Doesn't bother you, huh? What she says? Uh, no, no, I'm too busy hitting her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got your response. Let's see, John. I think uh, silence would be my cue. I think she she kind of doesn't look at him and kind of is very quiet about him. I, I think silence. She I can't remember a specific instance, but I it seems to me she's very quiet and doesn't really talk to him very much and is just very aware of his presence. When she we've only been married a year though, so she's pretty much you know we're you know. <laughs> You know. <laughs> so I, I think silence. Okay, you know. <laughs> All right. I'm afraid you won't get that, but I'll try it. Okay, we'll try it, John. Let's go backstage and see what happens. Girls, y'all set back there? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Press your button now and you recognize your husband. We s I always <laughs> recognize my husband. <laughs> That's I why know. I press my button. Okay, so I'll wipe you off. Jackie, do you have a reason? Oh, no. Oh, you just pressed your button to be around, huh? Yeah, yeah, I just was testing. Okay, all right. We said to the men out here how you can tell when another man attracts her. And he said, she says so. How you can tell when another man attracts her, he said, she says so. Joyce Ray. Well, I, you know, not really a track, but when we're watching television or something and I think someone's handsome or good looking or whatever, I say so. Joyce, it wasn't Alejandro who oh, says no. she says so. I'll have to take 10 points from you. I'll have to ask Nanette for break. I, I had a feeling it was me, but uh, um, because I say, oh, isn't he darling, isn't he gorgeous? But you're prettier, dear, you're prettier. <laughs> but um, I you. was just late. You were and I'll have to take 10 points from you, Nanette. Okay, we said how you can tell when another man attracts her, and he said, adorable. <phone rings> Joyce Ray. Well, I'm really losing points here, I'm afraid, but I, adorable is one of my favorite words, and I really do overuse it, but I describe everything as adorable, and especially cute men. That's what he said. We're going to give you 25 points. See, you made 15 points on your stage. Very good. We said... How you can tell when another man attracts her, and he said, silence. Silence. <laughs> oh, I had to think about that one. She was silent. You better watch but, out, John. That's right. I, I, I usually just don't say anything at all. I just kind of look. How did she do that? Honey, that's right. Well, of course I'm always right. John, I want to... <laughs> Very good. I tell you, John, to play this game well now, you're going to have to get out of your shell. I mean, what do you mean? I mean, you can't show all that excitement, boy. Oh, so <laughs> that was beautiful. That I want to win now. You That's, do. I we're haven't won the game yet. We've been here three points. days. You're going to win. You're bearing <laughs> down. Okay, let's go on to another topic. All right, new topic. Two responses this time. We said, a time she was frightened. A time she was frightened. Alejandro. But then, uh, we should say we were frightened. We? Yeah, I'm not too much of a, you know, I'm, uh, uh, my religion is a coward. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, c we went, uh, came back from a trip, or went back from a trip to our home, and we had ordered the, our house, to the front, to be painted. So they did, and they stuck the bell, the, r the bell ring, right? You said the bell? And the door, the doorbell. Doorbell, yeah. And it was like three, four o'clock in the morning, and all of a sudden the bell started to, sound and she said somebody's at the door 
And uh, I said, oh, three o'clock in the morning, who can be there? So I went back to sleep and 10 minutes later again. So I started to say, who's there? <laughs> oh, oh, is somebody about to kill me? Please tell me. <laughs> so, but I didn't open the door. I called the police and the police said to me, well, we don't open the door when somebody is ringing the bell to you. You have to go there and open the door. And I did, and when nobody was there. <laughs> they wouldn't even come around. No, there was, there was the, the, the pain had stuck oh, the it's bell stuck in there. and it was uh, uh, ah. just ringing by itself. So what's going to be your doorbell? Call? Doorbell. Mm -hmm. All right, doorbell. Who was next here? Randy. A time she was frightened. We were driving up to uh, Big Sur, which, if you don't know the area, is a kind of a precipitous road along the mountainside. And uh, it had been raining very hard, and uh, a huge rock slide uh, landed on the road ahead of us and then on the road behind us. So I got out of the car and started moving stone faster than, than they do in New York. I, I moved about two tons of huge rocks. Uh, to get our car out of there, and she sat in the car all that time. So what's going to be your clue, John, before we uh, run out here? Big Sur. Randy? Big Sur. Big Sur? All right, let's go and see if they get it. You all set back there, girls? Oh, yes, we are. Press your Good button now and you recognize your husband. We said a time she was frightened, and he said doorbell. Joyce Ray. Oh, this is an incredible story. It just happened not long ago, just after we'd been in New York, and I couldn't believe it. I, of course, I'm the one that always hears the noises in the house, and Alejandro goes with great trepidation. I have to push him into the front room we're, to check what's wrong. We're gonna run wrong. out of time. You gotta give me a quick one. Okay, a, qu a quick rundown. Okay, we came back from New York, and I got in bed, and it was about 4 o'clock in the morning, and I heard the doorbell ring. That's enough. And so I woke him up. I'm gonna give you the 25 <laughs> points. Okay, I wanted you to get it. He told us the story. We said a time she was frightened, and he said, Big Sir. Big Sir. Nanette. Oh, that has, that has to be me. We were driving up to the Big Sur. That's enough. I'll give you this 25 points. Good. I didn't want to run out of time. We want to get our final scores, meet our big winners, but right now, this message. All right, we have the winner with 75 points, Joe. The winners are the Davidsons, and in the audience, they're playing for Mr. and Mrs. James Cooney of Falmouth, Connecticut. Congratulations. Today, there are more than 1,200 Holiday Inns everywhere. Planning a trip, go with the goers to the Holiday Inn. We just have time to tell you goodbye. Bye. This is Johnny Olson's. We said, worst thing that happened on your honeymoon, and she said, sewer cover. <laughs> Why are you laughing, John Davidson? Uh, because uh, we, we, uh, we didn't really spend a honeymoon. I, I married my wife while I was working in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And uh, on our, after we were married, we went snorkeling and scuba diving a lot. And uh, uh, we... <laughs> We found what we thought was a relic down underneath the water, and it was looked out. It looked like the hatch to an old boat. Finally, we spent hours pulling this thing up, rolling it. Finally, got on beach and found out it was a sewer cover to the hotel. That's what and she said. And for days after that, my wife had pains that in her back. A, I did. I had a wrenched shoulder for about two and months. And the doctor said, "Well, that's you just got married. You know, maybe that's adjusting to just being married or something," <laughs> which sounded a little Jay, weird. We're going to give you the twenty-five points. Very good. That's pretty much what she said. Okay, more of he said, she said in just a moment. Right now, this message. New topic for the ladies. That was a good one, the last one. Uh, okay, I'm anxious to hear this one. Based, this is the new topic, based on what he told you, what he was like as a little boy. What was he like as a little boy? Based on what he told you, Sally Fear. Oh, well, uh, first of all, he was real fast. He was a really fast runner, and his mother used to tie him to the clothesline so that he couldn't run too far, and he had long enough rope, and he used to run and run in circles for a long, long time, just to time to the clothesline. <laughs> so what's going to be your clue? Uh, tied to the clothesline. Tie? 
Tie um, clothesline? These people out there with big blowguns, like, spraying this white stuff. And we went, oh, look at what they're doing. Isn't this funny? And all of a sudden, this massive, unbelievable clouds, literally of bugs, attacked us. Just And we had to run as fast as we could and dive in the water. And for about an hour, we just stayed in the water with our mouths out like this, because these bugs would attack you, and you'd, li you'd lift your lips out, you know, and about four little mosquitoes <laughs> That's where would be you lost your, your lips. <laughs> <laughs> so which one is worse? I don't know. Well, which one would be the easiest clue? I think the judge. Uh, Okay, I'll say the drunk judge. Drunk judge. Wherever you are, Mr. Drunk Judge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go backstage and see what happens. Hello there, backstage. Uh, Hi, Joe. Okay, <laughs> press your button as soon as you recognize your wife, all right? We said the worst thing that happened on your honeymoon, and she said body surfing. <laughs> Randy McDougall. She tried to drown me. <laughs> I've always wondered why. <laughs> But uh, I used to be a great body surfer. I'm, I'm sure she's told you. And I was out on a reef about a half mile offshore, and she came out to join me and kept waving to me. I didn't know it at the time, but she was drowning. And Randy, I'm going to stop you because she told it so well. That's she it. she tell you how she got back? Yes. Yes, I told him. With the little boy? A little seven-year-old kid. He couldn't understand anybody drowning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what she told us, so we gave him 25 points. Very good. Okay. We said worst thing that happened on your honeymoon, and she said drunk judge. Steve Craig. Uh, I guess that could be considered our honeymoon, but it was the guy who married us that was drunk. <laughs> Yep. The judge was the drunk guy. It was that, him, all right. That's what she told us. We thought there was more to the story. Evidently not. 25 points for nope, you, Steve. She drunk. told it so well. <laughs> Worst thing that happened on your honeymoon. The word, look at here. Wow, well, wow, well, Nanette. Well, uh, I had been bragging to my husband that I was a good body surfer because he was a great body surfer. And, but I had thought that in California with those little one short waves that they have, you know, one wave comes in and breaks. I thought that was body surfing. I didn't really know what it meant. So we were in Hawaii on our honeymoon, and uh, you have to swim out about half a mile to get where the breakers start to come in, and Randy was already out there surfing. And I hadn't been swimming in a long time, so I went swimming out, and I was half dead by the time I got to him, but I was not going to give up because I had been bragging what a good body surfer I was. And he was out there floating on top of the coral reef. Now, if you, I don't know if anybody knows, but if you put your feet down on a coral reef, you get a terrible cut from it. So I swam out to him, and by the time I got there, I was half drowned, and I'm climbing on him. He says, well, honey, not now. Don't get romantic now. And I said, blah, 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 you know, I'm, ha I'm almost drowning. And finally, he realized that I was drowning, and he called, it was so embarrassing. He called over a little tiny boy on the surfboard, and he said to the little boy, he says, would you mind wheeling my wife back in on your surfboard? And the little kid says, sure. So they stretched me out on the surfboard, and this little kid pushed me into shore, and I was so embarrassed because there I was being a show-off smarty that I could be a good body surfer, and I wasn't. Right. I would have to say that my clue is body surfing. Body I almost surfing. drowned him, you know, climbing up. Drowning. Like, I, was, I was there, you know, I was like, blah, 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 blah. He says, honey, don't get romantic now. So I would say, I would say body, body surfing. Body surfing, all right, we've got your response. Let's see who was next. Jackie Davidson. Well, ours... Worst we, thing that happened on your honeymoon. We a honeymooned in Puerto Rico. That's where we got married. And John and I both scuba dive. And we were out, uh, as a matter of fact, about the next day after we got married, we were in about 10 feet of water, and we saw what looked like a big antique ship's wheel down underneath the water. And so we thought, oh, a relic from, from, from some old ship. And we spent two hours dragging this 150-pound big wheel in, and I wrenched a shoulder, and John was, you know, a whole thing. We were both just dead tired, and we got up in the beach, and the lifeguard came over and said, oh, that's the sewer cover to the Caribe Hill that we've been looking for for two years. So I would say, and it really was. Yeah, the sewer cover had somehow gotten, and it was a bit, and so I would say our, our key word would be... Um, Sewer Could cover. Can you say sewer cover? Sure. Is that right to say sewer if he doesn't cover? get that after all that work, sewer oh. cover. All right, we've got your response. <laughs> Sally Field, worst well, thing that happened on your honeymoon? I don't know. It's one of two things. Our honeymoon was a total disaster. It's either when we got married or when we got to Jamaica. I, hmm. 
Well, I'll tell you about when we got married. We got married in Las Vegas in this little tinsel town that could not be believed. It was all, it was all plastic and red. You no, know, it's just, and I was like in the satin pants outfit. You know, we were just like, oh, well, who cares? And then the judge was drunk and he was going, oh. <laughs> and he was swaying like this. And Steve and I were hysterically laughing because we kept, we were going like this back and forth. And the man was going, and I hope that you guys will have a wonderful time with this whole thing. <laughs> and we're going, okay, so all alike when we got married, he, it was just so nonchalant. Steve said, yes. Yep, you know, and he said, would you take this woman or whatever it is? And Steve said, yep, and I said, sure enough, or something like that. <laughs> so I guess, I guess our wedding, our, our honeymoon was really weird, too. We went to Jamaica, um, I guess the bad time was, it, it was, it, there wasn't anybody there but a bunch of old folks, and, and we were going to go swimming, and it was uh, really, really hot, and it was later in the afternoon, and, and there was... This is Jackie Davidson and her husband... Now starring at the Empire Room of the Waldorf Hotel, Golden Voice John Davidson. This is the flying nun Sally Field and her husband, Steve Craig. This is singing star Nanette Fabre and her husband, Randy McDougall. This is Joyce Ray and her husband, matinee idol Alejandro Ray. These four celebrity couples are here to play. He said, she said. <laughs> And now, here's the song, and he said, she said, Joe Garagiola. <laughs> yeah, Johnny set it up where she should grab me, and when I went like that, she, you really were shocked, weren't you, man? Well, good to have all of you, good to have all of you here. Oh, oh. Yeah, the beauty. We always like the beauty out here. Okay, now in the next half hour, we're going to see if your husbands can recognize you by the stories you're going to tell us about your married life. Now, your husbands are backstage, and they're beautiful, too. The only time they can hear is we want them to like this. Hey, beautifuls, will you please brush your buttons? Look at them. See that? There they are. Good. How you doing back there? Very fine. Let up on the button a little bit. That's it. Good. Okay. Now, when you press that button, we see you on the screen. And from now on, anytime you want to talk to us, please press the button. Each of you is playing for a different married couple in our studio audience, and the winner will get a week's stay at a Holiday Inn. I'm going to cut you off now. I'll talk to you a little bit later. So long. So long. So long, so long. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, girls, I'm going to give you a topic. I want you to come up with an association so personal when your husband hears it knows it was you. Clues, one or two words. First topic. 